Well, what's up everybody? The uh, wife and I have found ourselves without kids for the weekend and have decided we would take a little staycation here in uh, Tuscumbia, Alabama at a place called the uh, Heron House. Let's head inside and check it out. section of the Tennessee River behind me on uh, Pickwick Lake. So yeah, looking forward to it. Again, a couple nights, no kids. Uh, nice little clean house away from home, but yet close enough to the boys that we could be there really quick if something if something came up. Well, everyone, it's a, uh, it's a very overcast Saturday morning, and uh, we are on our first morning here of the... Uh, little getaway for the wife and I and I've just got two rods in the water right now and I don't have just a whole lot of expectations for the current fishing situation that I'm in um, if you look off to the left of me I'm actually on a pier that's ooh, probably eight feet off the ground the Tennessee River is, is apparently down some right now but all of this in here for about I don't know 20 30 yards out in front of the pier is uh just leaves and debris i know this first rod here i've got cut shad on i've got a tail section on this rod i've got a head section on this rod this one i just i just barely got cast out over the the uh the debris right where my finger's at there this other rod unfortunately went about the same spot it is further out but the debris's further out so yeah we'll uh try it a couple hours we'll see what happens this morning sheena's just up <clears throat> fixing her morning cup of coffee up there i've actually been up a few hours trying to get this video out so the 
The video that went out this morning is the uh, part four of the rust cleaning. Uh, yeah, it was this morning that that video hit. So uh, make sure if you hadn't seen it yet, go give it a watch. And uh, we do have a little bit of misty rain this morning, so uh, that could, you know, that could push things either way. So I uh, I reeled them in to recast, try to get a little bit further out. It honestly looked like it wasn't more than six inches to a foot deep. As soon as I cranked the reel, my bait was on top of the water. So uh, I don't think we got a whole lot of water right here. The main channel, I don't know if you can see it. See, there's a red marker right at the end of my finger, right there. Um, the main channel is between that marker and the green one is somewhere right about there. Uh, that's the main uh, shipping channel. There was a barge came through last night, which is pretty cool. We'll try it a little bit longer. We're gonna see, I don't, you know, once you get your mind made up about something, especially fishing, it's just hard to stick with it. Um, and I'm convinced now that the water is incredibly shallow where my bait is. Anyway, but great night's sleep in the uh, Blue Heron House or the Heron House uh, here in Tuscumbia, Alabama. Wonderful night's sleep. The, the house is very, it's laid out very different, but it's very neat, very neat. This little island right there runs from fingertip to fingertip and the water channel is split. It runs behind it and runs on this side. And I don't know if you can see all those black dots uh, flying above it, but those are buzzards. And I'm gonna say that that island is where they, uh, is a common roosting area because they all literally just got up. My goodness, there must be, it, there's at least 50 right there circling. The rain, it did run us off. So, uh, got our camera equipment up here in the screen down porch. Have this really cool <coughs> screen them porch to hang out in. And I don't know if you, we looked at this yesterday. Swing bed. Well, this is the end of day two. And uh, took a drive today up to Decatur and toward Huntsville. Sunset on Pickwick Reservoir of the Tennessee River. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, water was low, not quite as uh, picturesque as, you know, might expect, especially back off, you know, this way a little bit. But uh, peaceful, quiet, uh, but really interesting seeing the American Queen uh, steamboat. So I mentioned yesterday we saw the American Queen steamboat dock at McFarland Park in Florence, Alabama. Uh, today we were taking a little road trip up to Huntsville. And in Decatur, uh, it is now docked at Rhodes Ferry Park. We happened to see it. We were crossing that bridge and looked down and happened to see it. So we came down to the park. This thing is absolutely huge. And I, I did some, some digging on that the prices started at now this is just what i read online 2300 per excursion per person that's a nine day outing nine day cruise with uh they have multiple different cruises you can take but uh, i definitely think that one day that that would really be something fun seen a lot of bass boats out today i wonder if there's not a tournament going on seen several this morning uh just didn't get the camera on them. They were fishing off in the distance. But, uh... All right, it is the morning of day three. Uh, got up this morning, the wife had breakfast cooked, which is always nice when I don't have to do it. And uh, we're fixing to head home. Wonderful, relaxing place to stay. Now, I will say a couple things about it. About, <clears throat> I don't know, probably a mile or less uh, on the opposite side of the house from the river, is a train track and there's a train that comes through seems like about every two hours train coming through but you can hear it if you're tuned in you know and it's really quiet in the house but it is not it's not like it's right in the front yard at all had a barge come through last night we we sat out and ate supper on the screened in porch had a barge come by it was a dreary sunday morning rain's falling uh we were going to take one last walk down to the water but uh just heard the train whistle. Um, 
So he's proven me wrong in that you didn't hear the whistle much because he just blew it twice. Uh, I know for a fact this screened in porch would be amazing in the uh, summertime. Very secluded. Now this house on the side here, I think it's called the Lake House and I think it's rented by the same people. Um, it's had nobody here this weekend. Uh, so I haven't seen anybody in that house. Uh, you know, and I had, <clears throat> had they been here, um, you can kind of see from looking here, here's our pier. There's a little uh, slip for say a kayak or canoe. That's their pier. So, you know, depending on who your neighbor was, that might be renting this other house at the same time. It's pretty close quarters right there. You know, I don't know how uh, much privacy you would have, but now on this side over here, uh, there's a fence that goes all the way up through there. And uh, other than their dog barking sometimes when we pulled up in the yard or uh, at night when we were sitting out talking and eating, didn't even hear out of them. Didn't see anybody down to the water, of course. <laughs> their their pier doesn't even make it to the water so um, i encourage you to check it out the heron house or blue heron and tuscumbia link will be in the description um we're definitely going to be leaving a positive review if you're just looking for just a relaxing little getaway uh very affordable um very comparable to say a nice hotel but you get a whole house you get a whole house and you get you know waterfront and depending on the time of year, I guarantee you probably get some really good fishing. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. There's your little review for our weekend getaway. And uh, hope you check out the links in the description below. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, please click subscribe. I, I do a little bit of everything. I haven't really found my channel direction yet. So if you want to see gun restoration videos, fishing videos with my kids, vlogs, cooking, whatever. Um, I do some of all of it. Make sure you follow along by clicking that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Hit a comment below. What did you think? Uh, what are some other places in the area I might try out? What are some places you want to see a review on? Like always, we're going to let you go, and we'll catch you next time right here on the J-Line.